home. New at 5, 7 News asking tough questions about work zone safety after complaints, high speed and sudden lane shifts may have caused this accident on I-70 during yesterday's rush hour. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez is there live. And Tyler, you're asking why the speed limit hasn't been lowered in that spot. Teresa, we know that the section of the road has changed. The various S turns have moved several times through this project, but some drivers say the latest version and the fact that the speed limits stayed at 55 miles per hour, they believe this has become a nerve wracking and potentially dangerous stretch of road. So I've seen some real close calls. Linda Hart's not sure how best to navigate a series of shifting, moving, sloping S turns through the I 70 and Quebec area. They have a ton of signs. Everybody gets used to the signs, but there's no reduction in speed, and that's dangerous. Everybody's hitting their brakes. I'm afraid somebody's going to get hurt bad. Thursday, Air Tracker 7 caught this large wreck in the same area. Denver police say six vehicles were involved, two people sent to the hospital, but they don't know if the lane changes contributed to the crash. On our drive, we were stuck between a merging truck on the right and a passing truck on the left. CDOT tells us it's part of an $8 million bridge replacement project dating back to last July, and they decided early on not to cut speeds. Is it safe, though, at that speed? You know, it is safe, but we want to go back and take another look and make sure that we don't need, you know, maybe we need some additional signage or if if we come through and reevaluate and determine that it needs to be reduced, we may do that for the remainder of the project. Here's a live look now at the rush hour on I-70 where no one's rushing. That's part of the reason CDOT didn't reduce the speeds. They know this is a high volume section, but as you heard, project managers are going to take another look and see if 50 or 45 miles per hour might make this area easier to navigate. Live on Central Park Boulevard, Tyler Lopez, 7.